Fine people of the internet, I have a confession to make. I caved. I caved and I'm using the Pokemon that I made more suggestive than it already is. So here's the thing about this altered form Giratina. This Giratina has zero investment in it. No second move, no powering up. This shiny Giratina is at the same CP that I got it back when the Giratina raids were around. I figured like, okay, let's see what the big deal about this guy is. He's a huge investment, but so many teams I fight against have used them. As we're going into this commentary, I have lost at least 10 Gold Battle League matches in a row. I think it'd be more accurate to say like 12 or maybe even 14. Granted, some of them, these attempts were more experimental than others, so I may not have always had the best team comp. But with how good I've done in Great League, it did feel a little disappointing to just... I was getting to the point that I was discouraged to the point of would I ever be able to commentate again? So I figure, like, what's the harm of trying? I mean, if I lose, it's just because I have nothing invested in this thing. But if I do better with this Giratina with zero investment, then that's a pretty good sign in of itself that maybe it's worth the time to at least consider the second move. I mean, I'd probably power it up and see where it goes before teaching it a second move, but. It's worth the consideration. So, as I'm explaining everything, I decided to like have post commentary for some of the battles I had on my lunch break with this particular team. The setup I have here is the Origin or the Ultra Form Garatina. Good old Grambolt, just because I finally decided to cave and use my single charge TM to swap over close combat to Crunch. And it's sort of a spicy pick, sort of just based on what I had available to me. But I have that Aggron that you saw earlier in the back. It's basically my, when I need to get Giratina out ASAP. Because in my head, like, it's neutral to poison, which in hindsight I re realize is pointless because Ghost apparently resists poison. <laughs> Jim, I feel like I got the type chart, chart fairly memorized in my head because I've been doing the Pokemons since I was like six. But there's some things like the poison setup that still elude me to this day just because for one, they kind of changed it in the middle. Like in Gen 1, I believe poison was actually super effective against ghost types, but that was a programming error if I'm recalling my trivia correctly. So from Gen 2 onwards, they changed it over to have ghosts resist poison. Mind you, I'm just saying this all from the top of my head, and it's been a very long time since I've paid attention to this information, so <laughs> your mileage may vary out of the accuracy of this trivia. So yeah, more importantly though, I was trying to think, what is the main Pokemon people use to counter Giratina? And then I remembered Togekiss. And that's the real reason I have Bolt Seal in my back there, because it's a Rock Steel type, which resists a lot of Togekiss attacks, if not real well. Grand, there's definitely a lot of counters out there, but this is just a Pokemon that I had already powered up to right around the level I needed to, and taught a second move, just because, like, Aggrounds are very cheap, it costs only 10,000 Stardust to teach a second move to, and this particular Aggron was pretty much just like my flex slash troll Pokemon, so I had it with this move set a long time ago. So it was already like ready to go, so I figured like if only for testing out Ultra Form Giratina, I would have it in the back there. It's kind of interesting that I'm actually going up against Giratina with it. But I guess in hindsight, it's not too bad, because like, it would resist the Dragon-type moves that Giratina has. It resists Ancient Power pretty well. So Shadow Sync's like the only thing I really gotta worry about, unless I see something right here to prove me wrong. Nah, I mean, it took me out, but it took me out with Shadow Sneak. 
And you saw exactly how much it did. I, mind you, none of these Pokemon are IV spec'd. I know the Grand Bowl is attack heavy. Aggron, I have no idea <laughs> how well it stats. And the Shiny Garatina, well, out of all the Garatinas that I currently have, this is probably the better of the two IVs. But even then, it's not that great. So, I've just had an, actually kind of impressed how well Aggron works. But then again, I do have a very specific role in mind for the Aggron, that's the counter Togekiss. And going forward, now that spoilers, I actually won enough matches to get a new charge TM. I'm considering teaching that over getting a Venusaur Day. Have basically powered up already. Again, it's probably not that great an IV spread, but like switching that Solar Beam over to Sludge Bomb. A move that I'll actually use would be fantastic. It would probably be a much better counter for Tokus than Agron and actually be able to do other things. Though I kind of wish I actually got a chance to use Agron against Tokus to see just how good it was, but it's just like my opponent, almost like my opponent just didn't want to deal anything with it. Uh, well, I'm going for this pass footage. There's some, I guess, wonder there's something else I wanted to talk about. Hmm. Yeah, when I think more about it, if I wasn't so high ranked, then maybe Aggron would work fairly well, because, like... No, I think Heavy Slam is actually neutral against Lapras, because the water actually resists Steel, if I recall correctly. Steel is super effective against Ice, so... It'd be interesting to see how much mileage I can get out of this Aggron, but... I got other ideas I want to try for my last battle of the set. Let me just skip ahead a couple battles to see if there's anything note of interest in this set. I guess before we move onwards, let me skip over to this Giratina Diddle matchup. Because I thought it was just fairly interesting. You could tell that this Giratina is way better spec than mine, just from how much damage it's been doing. Also, oh yeah, that's something else I gotta actually try before going forward. I think my Giratina has the Ghost Quick move, and this Giratina has Dragon Breath, so that's probably the real reason why I was doing so much extra damage. Oh yeah, I guess this Reggie Steel is kind of like another frick, that's another weakness that this team has. So maybe my spicy pick that I was planning on using Cinevian Sword would actually work out better, just so I have something to counter Reggie Steel, because Giratina, um, Giratina may be a fair counter. I think Giratina actually is the counter to Reggie Steel on some of the most meta type charts I have, but the issue is you would have to. You can't just have Dragon Claw in order to use a Giratina against a uh, Reggie Steel. You know what? Since I'm doing this in pulse, I can just pause whenever I want. Let me jump over to some of the videos I was referencing to double check this fact instead of just like speculating. Oh, maybe this is right. Maybe it's not. Okay, I definitely had that backwards. It's good to check the Hero Game video I was referencing in particular had Reggie Steel as a counter to origin form Giratina, but typing wise is so similar to alter Giratina that I don't think it fare much better. Still though, like that would mean I would have to have a Swamp Bird or a Fighting type. Oh yeah, I do have a Heracross that unfortunately it's, I have not invested a second move. If I, um, yeah, I did invest a second move like last minute. But it's got Earthquake and not Close Combat. So I'm not sure if that actually would appear as a counter. I... Besides, this gives me more of an excuse to try out my spicy pick. I figure I'm on the last battle for this set when I do finally decide to go live. So it'll be worth trying out for that, if not that alone. And you're going to hate me for this because I keep bringing this guy back despite the fact that you would think that the footage of the past in and of itself would prove that he's not liable for Ultra League. But I have faith in Cotton Falcon Myamphoros. 
And I think like this could be the moment that he shines with Volt Switch to get the energy up fast. Thunder Punch to go for shields. And focus and I finally would have it used for frickin' focus energy. Cause that sounds like it'd be amazing against Reggie Steel. Plus, like it, it won't resist lock on because lock on is just normal. But it should resist his steel type move pretty well. Now, what other move does Reggie Steel have? We have the technology to check on these things. It is Focus Blast. That so yeah, not exactly like something that I want to leave Ampharos on. But to be fair, there's not too much that I feel like Ampharos can take well, which is a shame. Maybe it's just because my Ampharos is so attack oriented, because it's a perfect IV Ampharos. But maybe it's just because Ampharos. Stats don't translate as well into Pokemon Go as I keep thinking it would. One way or another. There's probably definitely better things than the Ampharos, but... Because I'm on the last set for that battle, I want to try it anyways. I do, you know what? I do want to jump over to the final battle and actually do this. But this last battle in particular, I can't remember if it was one I won, but... I found it really interesting, so... Now that I'm done... Talking about all the basis of why I finally came in to playing with Longboy. Let's at least analyze this particular battle. So I swap over from my Giratina to Gramble, and for some reason my opponent swaps over to Polyrath. Maybe to sack it off to get an actual lead in, maybe not realizing just how devastating Charm was to it. Whatever the case may be, I'm able to actually farm up so much energy off that freaking polygraph that I can even justify using my shield first. So yeah, my Granville's pretty much out of luck at this point because Venusaur eats fairy tape for breakfast when it's got Sludge Bomb. But at least I'm able to get rid of a shield. Maybe if I'm fast enough I can get another crunch off. Probably not. But hey, I was at least able to get a Fair amount of damage off with Charm. Keep in mind, that Venusaur was resisting those Charms. And yet, here we are. Now, I think Venusaur is actually a Pokemon that I really wanted to try Aggron against. Because the Steel type when resists the Sludge Bombs, the only unfortunate thing about Aggron is it takes neutral damage from the Frenzy Plan. Because its Rock Weakness cancels out the Steel Resistance. Which is a bit of a shame. If there was actually more Steel types that actually worked out decently for the Ultra Link meta, I feel like they actually would fare fairly well, especially with Venusaur running around the place. But the only Pokemon that comes right to mind that would work is Metagross. But even then, Metagross might be better for Master Link. And I do, can actually say that Metagross would counter Venusaur fairly well. Just a matter of if it would actually have enough other counters to really justify it taking one of your three valuable move slots for. And now I'm definitely not investing the Stardust to find that one out. Still, if anyone, I would, and I don't even recommend, do not <laughs> just throw your dust at a Metagross for a heck of it. If you've done it in the past for experimental sakes or because you had one that was fairly close and you wanted to see how well it would do, Feel free to let me know how your meta grows did in the meta, because now I'm making myself curious. But I got the feeling that even though it may counter some things fairly well, that it may not counter enough of the core of the meta to really justify running it on a team. I could be wrong though. I definitely could be wrong. At this point, I'm just kind of experimenting, trying to get my footing without investing any more Stardust than I already have. But seeing Giratina just come in so freaking clutch has really gave me a change of heart. Man, look how close this thing is. Just barely survived that. I can go to the Dragon Claw, but I don't even need it. I'm like taking. I took it out of a fast move. So, Long Boy Giratina is pretty good. Uh, is it better than Origin Form? Who knows? I kind of see why, like, Hero Vane's recommending Origin Form Garatina, because I feel like Origin Form Garatina would hard counter Ultra Form Garatina, but, like, 
Ultra Forms is so bulky, and like, I feel like I would have to actually use both of them to find out. And while I have an Origin Form Giratina that could do the trick, I'm not sure if it's worth investing all that dust into the finding out. Let me pull up my live footage now, because wow, I actually was able to commentate for the whole scene. <laughs> And I don't even think I was referencing the battle for the most part. It was just like so much I had to get off my chest about experimenting with this Pokemon. See y'all in a sec. This was my original idea. This is probably the way I'm gonna lean just cause I'm on my last set for this battle. So if I'm gonna do any experimenting, it might as well be at the end of a set rather than the beginning so I can have a fresh start to possibly get more prizes. In the next one. But yeah, like. I gotta double check Aaron's move pool. Cause maybe, like, doing his rock charge move over Thunder would be more useful. Mind you, I only have Thunder on it cause that's just the move it got when long, long ago I taught it the second move, charge TM. Here across is another experimental thing. Earthquake might, only because I don't really have too many TM to go around. I might be able to get away with Earthquake over Close Combat, but I'm pretty sure Close Combat would be the better thing of the two. And since I have a charge TM, I could like get. I can actually have an all shiny team again and get Sludge Bomb on this guy, and it probably would round out the team fairly well. Only issue is Reggie Steel. I wouldn't really have something to counteract Reggie Steel, which probably might be why I lean more towards a Heracross. But since we're just experimenting, let's give good old Content Falcon one more try. You probably haven't paid seen from my Go Battle Reapley record. Ultra League hasn't been kind to me. Granted, I was. I wasn't doing amazing in Great League, but I was doing competently. Ultra League's just kicking my butt and stole my name a long time ago. Before we get started, um, give me one more sec. I want to just double check what Hero Bane's recommendation for Heracross is move-wise. Because if it just ends up being Earthquake instead, then what's the point of even TMing over close combat? Yep, it is counter, close combat, and make it horn. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. I... Gear... <sighs> I'm running out of fast TMs, like, I thought I could never run out of fast TMs, and yet here we are, down to four. But this Giratina has definitely proven itself that if I actually give it a good fast move, that is going to be even more amazing. So... I am okay with being down to 3, and knowing my luck, I'll probably just end up getting a fast TM in my next set when I really, really need charge TM, so it should hopefully work out. Now for real, let's try out this really, really, really weird team. So my, what's my plan again? To have Ampharos be my Registeel counter? I feel like this is gonna go horribly. But hey, that's why I'm doing this in the last set of this battle instead of like the first set of a battle or something like that. Let's just get the. Let's just throw the idea out there so I can actually move on to competent ideas. Hopefully, maybe. Just so I had to make sure I was recording real quick. So I got a Swampert, so I am okay with just staying in here and Dragon Claw spamming. Hopefully we can get one shield out of him before he catches on that I am late. <laughs> a cheap stake? I was gonna say lazy, but cheap stake's more accurate. And get one shield out, possibly? I guess if not though, at least I'm wearing this guy out. Uh, it just feels way too early to use a shield, especially because he didn't use his shield. Oh, plus I'm a dragon type, so I'm resisting things like Hydro Cannon anyways. I guess in the back of my mind I was fretting the Earthquake. So maybe he was going for shield baiting, and if so, I actually played smart. Now, hmm. It depends on what he does here. 
but I'm debating whether to just try to use fast moves to get energy left over. Ah, you know what? I see now why Swampert is a counter to Giratina. I doubt it because there's no super effective moves, but hey, that is a good chunk of damage. Naturally, no, that Togekiss is countering way better. Oh, frick! I screwed up! That was my chance to actually use Ampharos competently, but instead I am just sacking... Why do people send their Polyrath up against a Fairy type? What is the secret meta that I'm missing out on? And I didn't shield there because I'm just afraid that they're gonna just go for a power up punch one of these times, like bait or something. But you know what? I got too much energy stored up. I don't mind using a shield now. Naturally, like, he's probably. I'm just really, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so confused, I'm just baffled. What was with that play? You had a perfectly fine- I thought I was the one that screwed up. Because I freaking sent my Gramble instead of my Ampharos, and here we are. Um, um, I'm gonna just shield to be on the safe side, I'm not sure exactly what this- Yeah, Agent Power probably would have done a good chunk of damage. More than I would like, so yeah, yeah. Okay, this is awkward because technically Ampharos did well, but I'm not really sure if my opponent. Uh, not to knock my opponent, but I feel like I got lucky at best. At worst, I felt like I only won from misplays. Uh, but the fact that I didn't lose makes me want to use Ampharos again, which is a little scary. Either way, then, with the post commentary, this has definitely been a long enough video, so... I'm gonna cut it off here. Thanks for letting me do something a little different and doing so much post commentary to start things off. You know, in reality, like, I was just sitting on that footage anyways, and I kinda needed to explain myself for why. I was using Giratina when I'd been so stubborn to not use it at all. And so here we are. It, this next set is definitely going to be interesting, and I'm looking forward to recording it. Live. Because I get the feeling we're in for a wild ride. Now that we got Longboy on our side. Take care.